Hi, everyone. It's so nice to see you guys. It's so nice to be here with you today. Um, I just want to start by uh, saying thank you so much for all of your comments, for your emails, for your support, for your subscription, for sharing the channel, um, just all you that you do for for the for um, for the channel. You guys are, you know, smart and funny, and <laughs> I love reading the comments. And I, you are, you know, I have so many gifted, you know, um, healers and Reiki masters and um, intuitives and psychics, all, all of these different kinds of wonderful people in this community. And I just want to, just want to thank you. Thank you for, for being there and, and for, um, you know, being an active member of this community, you know, be, putting out comments and sending an email and, you know, um, checking out the stuff that we that I put in the descriptions and, and helping other people. It's just, it's so important. And I, I just want to thank you so much. So thank you. Thank you so much. Um, it's just great. Uh, so I, and I love reading the comments. I just want you to know that I read every single one. I can't answer every single one, but I do read every single one. And same with emails. I read them. Uh, I get to them as soon as I can. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, I do the best I can. And um some of the questions that you guys have sent me, um, some were answered in the recent video I did on, on Lilac Lantern uh, with Andrea. So if you if you didn't get a question, if you don't get your question answered today, it might be on that, that live session that we did. Um, I have mixed feelings about live. I, I like it in some ways because the energy is really, um, it's different. You know, when I do this, it's so, it's so calm. And so, you know, I, I, the energy is so it, it, it's my energy, you know, so it's matched with me and so my home and whatever. But when I go into a live situation, the energy just is, it just feels electric almost. And it's like, I'm jumping into a river of just this flow of energy. So it can be a little confusing sometimes. And I think um, it might not be I don't want to say it's accurate, but it might, it might, I think there's more room for error sometimes because the, 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 it is such a different kind of situation. And, and as a reader, it's just different, um, especially for me, <laughs> but I enjoy it. It's been really fun and really different. Um, you do tend to attract more trolls sometimes, but um, I always just, my way I deal with them is just pray for them because I just think there's not somebody to that does stuff like that isn't there's something going on there's something happening with them so I always just pray for them that they'll that they'll get whatever is happening with them will be better so that's my that's my <laughs> my defense <laughs> okay so I'm gonna give you some channels to check out they're brand new again just give encouragement love light it, tell them you know congratulations and good luck um subscribe if you can if you don't want to it's okay just just you know send them you know a thumbs up basically you know just just help them to um to know they have support in doing they're just trying to do good you know they're just trying to do good so just you know give them a thumbs up but okay so i'm going to just kind of go down the list and they'll be below um the first one is butterfly whispers and all of these have a spiritual nature to them some are readers some are you know um, just spiritual kind of different things um topics that kind of stuff so the first one is butterfly whispers the sec second one is blissful divina divination the third one is herc h-e-r-c 213 um, and that is Jay. You can just say, hey, Jay, because he's always on like the live feeds and stuff that we do. So he's really just a sweet heart, sweet, sweet person. Um, and so those are the ones to check out. Also, Cassie's still doing her crowdfunder for her film. So um, and she wants me to tell you guys every single for them pound for every single dollar helps. Don't feel like you have to go and give a lot of money or anything like that. Um, they just love the support and the, you know, it's been wonderful. So she just wants to say thank you so much and to not feel like you have to give a million dollars because you don't, they have, I think they start at $5. And so she, she's like, every single dollar is appreciated. Every single dollar helps. So if you want to give to the arts, you want to give to a new artist, there you go. Okay. 
So, um, and, and I will put that below as well. Um, there's also a going to be a link for a blog about gaslighting if you'd like to learn more about how we've been gaslit in the last four years, but it's interesting and it, it helps sometimes when you get that kind of point of view of, or clinical point of view of something, it helps you to deal with it, it helps you to get past it so um, there you go. Uh, so let's dive into all of this stuff. Oh, and I just want to tell you the two. Um, uh, donations we're doing. One is to um, the uh, Bur Burvet Monkey Foundation, and it's little baby monkeys that they give to, they, they foster them with, with other, with like mom monkeys, and it's so sweet. Um, so if you want to look it up, it's B-E-R-V-E-T, uh, Monkey Foundation, and they have a YouTube channel where they show the process, and it's just, oh my gosh, somebody sent it to me, and I'm just like, this, my heart, I mean, we have to give to this thing. So we're giving to that, um, and then we're also giving to the Asher House, which takes, um, goes to animal shelters and adopts old, older, um, older dogs to be uh, and finds homes for them. It's the sweetest. I mean, the guy is just seems like such a gentle soul and such a lovely person. So that's the Asher house we're giving to them as well. Okay. Okay. So let's get down to the nitty gritty of the, all of this. Okay. So um, if you remember a couple of things, if you remember my guides about the impeachment, they said, these Republicans are going to do what they're going to do. So don't, if you watch it, go ahead and watch it, but don't get caught up in the drama of it, <laughs> which I did. And then I did get caught up in the drama because it just, it's, it triggers you, right? Because of all we've been through. Um, and it also triggers you to see the, um, the footage again. And, and more footage, different kinds of footage. It's almost like you're reliving the sixth again, that, um, and it's, it was tough, you know, it was tough. And I could see why my guides gave us that advice. And it's a good example of your guides advise you and then you can do what you want. You know, you, you have free will. So we, we have free will. Um, but I, uh, and then I pulled back, you know, I pulled back. I remembered what my guides said and I pulled back from it and, um, I watched it just in kind of retrospect. I didn't watch it live because I didn't know what they were going to show and it was starting to really affect me. Um, and I also, as I watched, got more and more of a feeling that they would just acquit him. And um, I didn't want to come on and, and say that because I didn't, if I was wrong, then, you know, I didn't want to bum people out. <laughs> and if I was right, I didn't want to bum people out, but I, but they did give us, they did tell us that it was going to be free will. It's up to the Republicans. And we know what their track record is. They, they suck. So, <laughs> so that's the way it is. Um, but if you felt like, you know, this, it re-triggered you, it made you feel bad again. It made you feel like he won in some way. And I'm telling you, he didn't. And I'm telling you that, um, his life is going to be very, very difficult. It is very difficult. I mean, um, we talked again, we talked about this on the live feed with on Lilac Lanterns. You can go and see that whole conversation. And we answered the question about what the what the lesson is in all of this. And and um, you know, it is a it's one of those things that it 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 was just hard to go through. And um, you wonder why do we have to go through this again? But we answered that question. So if you wanna go look at that, I, I, I won't do it again, but that we did go look at that and it was very interesting. So, um, but they, you know, they do what they do. Um, somebody wanted me to look at Mitch McConnell. So I'm gonna do that. Um, and, and I had a few different questions that people had asked me to look at. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I did wanna also mention though, that we're having this giant freeze. And if you remember <laughs> right after Christmas, I think it was right after Christmas, I think it was between Christmas and New Year's or, or right after New Year's or something. Maybe, before, maybe it was right before Christmas, I don't know. I had that weird vision of the Polar Express. Do you remember that? About the, the train sliding all over the ice. And I said, I it, to me, it felt like it had something to do with the weather. It had something to do with maybe road conditions. It could be like an actual train accident. But to me, it felt just like caution, be careful, List, heed the, the warnings, listen for the, you know, the, um, 
you know, traffic things and listen to weather things. If they tell you not to go out, don't go out. I told you, I, I said all of that, but I'm just letting you know again that I think this is what this is. Obviously, I mean, obviously, but to heed that warning the same way. If you're being told not to go out, don't go out, don't go on the roads if you're not supposed to be on the roads. Um, they showed a bunch of like different accidents today and it came back to me and I was like, oh my gosh, that, that Polar Express thing. So please heed that advice. Do not go out if they tell you not to. Do not go on the roads if they tell you not to. And if you have people that you can check on, like older people around you or things like that where power has gone out and stuff like that, do if you can. If you can't, you can't. Um, but if you can, please do. Um, I just feel like this is a, a weird thing. And so anything you can do, do. But if you can't, you, you're, you need to put your oxygen mask on you first. So do that first. Okay. Um, all right. So, um, but I'm glad I'm thankful for that warning. I'm thankful for that warning that we got. That was very, very useful. And as scary as these things are sometimes to get, um, my, I mean, what is, fun and sweet way for them to tell us through a, a Polar Express, you know, thing. They're, they're very careful with me about the way they present um, information, but I did get that feeling of caution, be careful, careful. Um, it's going to be crazy. So anyway, okay, so I'm going to look at Mitch McConnell. Somebody wants me to look at Mitch McConnell. I've looked at him up teen times and every time I see him packing up and leaving Kentucky, him and his wife, um, it looks like the Beverly Hillbillies or their stuff is piled all over the car. To me, that, that, that looks like grifters, like they got everything they can and now they're like leaving town. And so, and, and you have to take it as a, um, you kind of have to take it as a, as a metaphor that they may just grift as much as they can and then leave Washington. You know, that that's, that's the kind of feeling she's already gone. So she did leave. Um, now he, on the other hand, um, as somebody keeps asking me if they're going to go back to China, I don't think so. Um, I feel like, I feel like he's going to have, I feel like he does have, some health issues. And I think he's going to have some health issues. And I think that may be why he ends up stepping down. But I also feel like um, he's going, um, it's almost like a, a vote of no confidence. I feel like he, again, right, they make these choices and then they have to suffer the consequences, right? So he is going to have to suffer the consequences of what he has decided to do which is um, not take Trump on. He kind of just hid. He's hiding and, and wanting Merrick Garland to take care of it. Well, um, he didn't stand up. He looks weak. And I think that he might um, be not asked to be um, majority leader or minority leader at some point. Um, he may be pushed aside, basically. And um, it's going to be because of his own actions. But I do see some health issues. Um, I've seen those before uh, with a major organ. I, it always comes up like it's a major organ, like liver, heart, you know, um, kidneys, something. It's major, It's like a major thing. And I feel like it's ongoing. Like he's had this for a while, but it just keeps getting worse. Um, for entertainment purposes only, this whole video is entertainment purposes only. It's my, it's what I'm, what I am, um, interpreting. Okay. So, um, so that's what I'm seeing. And, and, and I think that may be the reason he actually steps aside unless he is asked to step down for some reason, like they don't, they don't have confidence in him anymore. Um, but I, but I do see some health stuff and I also see him tied up in court for something. Um, I, to me, it almost feels like investigation. So it might be some of these investigations that go on with the Democrats. Um, it feels like these bigger investigations and I'm seeing um, Mueller coming back for some reason. So there's something with him with Mueller coming back. Um, 
so yeah, it, it it's not good. And you know, you you see these things, you see them year after year. <laughs> it's been like two years. I've seen stuff with you know certain things, and it's just telling you what's what's how this is going to end or what's going to happen. It doesn't. It's so hard to tell timelines, and I know that it's frustrating for people. I'm used to it because I'm like, I know how this how this is, and I I don't ever push. I just you know remind people that timing is weird. That's all I can say. Um, you get a feeling of that in the dream state, by the way, how, how different it can be um, in the dream state when you're just, when you're like here and then all of a sudden you're just here, <laughs> you know, you, you're, you're, you know, packing a suitcase and all of a sudden you're in Tahiti. It's like, you know, it has no rhyme or reason, but the time, I think that that gives us a glimpse of what, what, how time can be over there. Not that it's all confusing and stuff, but that it's, um, it's just different. It's just different. Um, the way we set up time here is a very earthly way we've set up time and it doesn't have a bearing on that. It's very different. Um, so anyway, okay. So, um, so, um, somebody wanted me to look at the Republican states that are punishing these seven senators and kind of what's going to happen to those seven senators. Um, I know historically, I already get the feeling that they're going to be um, looked at as as having done the right thing. Um, and I feel like um, history will record this, all of this properly. It's going to be properly recorded, okay? And I think that's one reason that they're doing like the impeachment and they're doing these, all of these things for, for public record, for that it's in the in the history books, it's in our history. We know what happened. They can't, um, they can do stuff on Fox News and you know spin stuff, but in the public record, they can't do that. So I feel like a lot of this, um, these commissions and having these hearings now and stuff, it may come to that. Well, what was it all for? Well, it's to set a public record so that history records this stuff properly, and that that is important important. And so I feel like history will, will record their actions properly. Um, they will be looked at as, as having done the right thing. I would say heroes. And that's, that's, you know, they're just doing their job. The other ones are just cowards. They're just doing their job, but they will be looked at as like, um, it was difficult, but they did it anyway. Um, so that's, that is one thing that I'm, that I have seen, and, and continue to see. Okay, so I don't know where they're all from. So I'm just gonna kind of do a blanket. Okay, so right away, Arizona and Pennsylvania is coming up. And I don't, I don't know if one of them is from Arizona. Um, I feel like there might be some sort of, um, feels like um, you know what it feels like it feels like there there's there's stuff done and then it's reversed it's it's done and then it's taken back or something um, and I feel like this is over time like they do something and then they're voted out and other people come in and they reverse it or change it um, or, or take or or add on to it to be like you know this was ridiculous blah blah blah. Um, the Arizona and P Pennsylvania are coming up that way like it goes one way then it goes back. Um, Um, Nebraska, if he runs again, I feel like he will win. So um, I can't think of his name right now, but the guy from Nebraska, the younger guy from Nebraska, um, I feel like he will win if he runs again. Um, although Nebraska feels red, it feels like they're a little bit done with Trump. So they if they stick with Trump, this is just going to get worse for them. Just so you know, you know, there might be a few places where they win, you know, Alabama, Mississippi, places like, you know, that, that are probably going to be ruby red for a long time, but, but look at Georgia, right? I mean, 
And Democrats are learning, you know, they're learning, they're, they're figuring this stuff out, they're figuring out how to, to kind of beat the system that has kind of been difficult for them, as far as, you know, voter suppression and that kind of thing. I mean, Stacey Abrams is incredible. She's a hero. Um, so they're learning, you know, but the the Republicans are, are going to be in for a lot of hurt if they keep sticking with this guy. Like I said, there's no, I, I hate to keep using the, the, the term spirit energy, but that's the only way I can kind of explain it when there's this positive energy going through a task or a person or a, um, a um, you know, a some kind of movement, um, Black Lives Matter, you know, so when there's spirit energy that supports it, it has sustainability. When it is not supported at all by spirit, it when it kind of falls flat, that is what happens. It just kind of dunks. There's, there's, there might be a little, you know, a little bit of momentum just because, you know, people could push it ahead, but it doesn't have any staying power. And, um, and, um, so that's why these things kind of come and then they go and then they come and then they go because it's it just doesn't have that. Um, so how weird, I just got a flash of Fox News for some reason. Uh, let me see what that's about. So that's what I'm getting on those senators so far. If I get more, I'll let you know. Um, always check the community page in my in Twitter. If you follow me on Twitter, you can go to the community page. I put like little... Um, things that, you know, about different healings, people are asking for prayers for, for heal, healing. I know a lot of healers are subscribers. So, you know, if you're, if you're wanting to, to practice your healing work or do some healing work, um, check the community page because I put things there and on Twitter as well. And Twitter is just intuitive you. Okay. So, and I, I do show a different size sometimes because I get mad, but I do could people call call people dumb dumbs a lot and idiots a lot. So if you can handle that, I guess you can handle my my Twitter. Okay. Okay, the next thing somebody wanted me. Oh, I wanted to look at um Fox News real quick. Um I'm seeing everything, like things falling away. I feel like viewers, money, it's just, um, so, you know, subs um, what are they called? Um, people that support the channel, like, you know, that do commercials for the channel. Um, advertisers falling away. Everything's falling away. Um, again, I don't know how long this will take, but I feel like it's, it's now, like it's happening right now. Um, and I feel like they change. I feel like they're they're they decide to do something that's different. They decide to do something. It's like a new model or something, or a new a new uh, format or something. And I feel like there's something that they have to change. So um, I'm not sure what this is. It almost is like like. Uh, having to put something on that says like, this is opinion only or something like that. It's like, they have to separate like news stuff from opinion um, and make it like clear. Um, there's a scandal coming too. I feel like there's a scandal coming too. I feel like I've got hiccups. <laughs> Hopefully I don't. Okay. Young, um, somebody wanted me to look at, there have been a lot of young people that have passed away. Um, they were saying like a young guy on Jeopardy and like some other young people, um, some like natural causes. I know there've been a, like an uptick in suicides and things like that. So I just wanted to see what my guides had to say about that. Um, so I'm going to just ask them. Just heard the word survival, survival. So some of them, it's like 
they came for like specific things in their contracts done. Like it's, it's done. They, they, they've lived their full, this is how long they were supposed to stay. And, but it, so somebody's showing me like a flip, like there's a quick turnaround, like they're going to come right back. Um, and we might see a lot of this with like the, all the people that left for coronavirus. It's like, they're coming right back. It's, they're coming right back. I feel like there's a lot here. Um, Cause I feel like there's like, some people are leaving to do work there to help what's happening here on the earth right now. And some are like gonna come right back. It's like, they're gonna have another lifetime, right? And that one also might be short. Like they might come back and have like another short lifetime. It's almost like they're like part-time and full-time. It's almost, that's what it feels like. It's like some people are gonna work here part full, you know, full-time have a full lifespan. And some people will be here part-time. They'll have a part of a lifespan and then they'll come right back. Um, I hate, I don't mean to, to d diminish or um, d devalue each life. Each life is precious and valuable. Um, and even, you know, as a spiritual experience and a spiritual um, spirit, a spiritual growth, it, it's each, each soul is precious. And um, so, but it, it, it's just looked at so differently there because here, you know, they leave and they're gone there. They can see the whole system in place. And that's what they're showing me is just like this, this system of just like some people are full-time, some people are part-time and the, some people are turning right around and going back. And some people are going to stay there and do work. And it's very like, whoo, you know, <laughs> that's what comes. So I'm just letting you know what I'm, what I'm picking up. So um, I hope that helps to kind of understand a little bit about what's going on. Um, it's a it's a different time right now. And so it different things are happening. Um, okay, and somebody wanted me to look at, at UK politics real quick to see what is coming for the UK. So I just heard trouble. Um, I feel like Boris Johnson's in trouble politically. He may go. Um, he may go. Um, like not fill, fulfill his full term. Um, I can't remember what the terms are there. If they just, I can't remember, but I feel like he may get like a vote of no confidence, kind of like Teresa May. That's what happened to her. It feels like something like that. Um, I don't think it's like, you know, like health or family or anything. I don't think it's anything like that. I feel like it's, it's like, get out you know, we're, we're, we're not doing this anymore. And there's a lot of like right wing, like backlash in the next year or two. I feel like it, it forces, um, it's, to me, it just feels like this whole force of people demanding more from their governments, demanding more freedom it feels like a push. And like I said, these are, to me, it's very supported by, by, by spirit and spirit energy. And it's, it's very, um, it feels very much like the time it's time. Um, and I do feel like this is all very connected to saving the earth, saving, you know, saving ourselves, that kind of thing. So, um, like I said, it's not, not going to be a good year for Putin. And I feel like, um, I actually did, did a reading with my sister and, and in that one, they said he'd be out by 2022. So, um, and that Navalny would be out of jail by 2022. So that's what they said. That's how it stands right now. If it's sooner, it's sooner. But for, for right now, that's what they said. Um, okay, so let me... 
Let's see if there's anything else. This stuff with the six is not over. People are gonna sue Trump. Um, I feel like it's individuals. I feel like it's um, groups. I feel like it's individuals. Something old is coming back. I keep seeing that. I wonder if it's that rape case with the, with, um, what's her name? Jean something. I keep seeing like something old's coming back and it's going to be really bad for him. Um, like bad for everything. I mean, he, he's, like I said, he's just declining. We're, we're, what we're seeing right now, as far as the, the King Kong, he's falling. He's just slowly falling, falling, falling. Um, but I, you know, it's just, we need to release him and let him go because he's just going to, he's just going to fall. We need to all release him and, and let him go. Um, I know this stuff is, it's, when you see the old clips and you see all these things, it, it triggers you and makes you feel like, uh, we're not, we're not getting anywhere, but we are. Please know that we're in the process of, of moving out of this darkness. Um, and, and so is the UK, by the way. Um, they did ask that question, are we moving out of the darkness too? But it does feel like, like I said, like a worldwide shift. And it will, it will be in different ways, in different, in different times, but, but it will, but it's all kind of moving the same direction. Um, and there will be people, like I said, if you didn't see the train analogy back at the train station, you know, not, you know, demanding stuff, being upset, you know, throwing stuff at the wall or whatever, fighting with each other, you know, there's going to be that, but we were, we've moved on. So that's where we are. And, uh, and we have to look at it that way. You know, I feel like there's something about us also manifesting, you know, going forward, seeing what we, uh, seeing, um, demanding the changes we want to see, being the changes we want to see, th that kind of thing. It's like, we need to still kind of, uh, make this happen, but we're in the, we're in the lane now to do it. We're, we're, we're on the road to doing it. Um, we just need to keep going. That's it. You know? Um, so I, um, wait one second. I'm sorry. I'm getting something for Something with Lindsey Graham, something is coming for him. I caught this before. I can't remember where. I got this before. I think it was on, again, on that live stream, but I'm getting that again. Something with Lindsey Graham's coming. Um, so if you're mad at him, something's coming. <laughs> something's coming with him. Um, Okay. So, and a lot of, you know, it's interesting because a lot of the stuff I see coming, it's like it drains their money away because it was ill gotten gains anyway. You know, it was probably like, you know, for entertainment purposes only, probably, you know, from Russia, the NRA, just blood money. And it's like, it's almost like it just drains away from them because it's yucky money, you know, it's not, it's ill gotten gains and they can just give it back. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. So this is, they're, they're, you know, and, and they, they're, they're sticking some part of them are sticking with Trump. So they're going to learn the hard way. And, you know, we're at different, we're all at different stages in our, in our development and growth. And that's where they are. But the point is we need to move on move past it. Tell Biden what we want him to do. He needs to do it. We need to move this forward, move this train forward. Um, and uh, I feel like he's really, he, I feel like he gets what his job is, where, what his place is in history. I really do. And I feel like they're really, really trying to get ahead of the coronavirus and state, kind of get everybody vaccinated, stay ahead. It's really a big 
deal and they have a lot of great things they want to do. So I feel like they're going to just push and just push stuff through, which is great. Um, I do feel like they're going to start talking about the Supreme Court. I feel like it might be a a couple of months away, but I do feel like they're going to start talking about that and kind of laying the groundwork to maybe adding some judges, um, which would be such a burn on Mitch McConnell. So anyway, <laughs> I hate to be vindictive that way, but you know, that would be kind of nice. Um, so anyway, so that's, that's also, you know, coming. Um, okay. So I know that people think I meander too much at the end of my videos, so, but I just don't want to let you go. I just want to stay. I want to say, I'll say, um, I, people were asking me about my cards that I was, work, had been working on with, um, cause I decided to just kind of do my own cause I don't really have a relationship with the cards. And I thought if I did my own, maybe I would. So I just wanted to show you a couple of the, I mean, there's such crude drawings. You're going to be like, okay, that's great. Um, but they're kind of just, it kind of just gives you an idea. I did, you know, a beach theme because I love the beach and I love, and it's kind of and like tropical kind of theme. So for, I did this card for like relax. It has like little, you see the little things and so you can see what a good artist I am too. Um, this one is like the travel one. It's just like a, it has like a little boat, little anchor, the love boat. Um, and then I have like the lighthouse. The lighthouse is like, you know, um, uh, like help is on the way, that kind of card. Um, and so, and if it's upside down, help is not on the way. So <laughs> that's what that is. So anyway, so I'll, at some point when I get them all done, I'll, I'll do a fun, like little reading with them, with you guys. But um, for now, I'm just, it's just fun. It's just a project. Um, if you guys have ever thought about doing it, it's a lot of fun. You know, if you like, um, if you like, uh, and I just add a couple of cards every couple of days, you know, it'll probably take me a year to get them done. But, but anyway, it's been, it's been a lot of fun. So that's where I am with it. People keep asking me, are you still doing that? So yes, I am. And, and they asked me too, if I'm keep, if I'm working on the psychometry, which I am absolutely, it's hard to do it now because, you know, stores and stuff are not, everything's open. It's not everything. You can't really do everything, you know, the way that you would normally do it. So it's kind of weird, but, um, I do want to do one like Gary Champion did in the cemetery and just see if I can get stuff. And I'm going to do it with no camera first to make sure that I can get, you know, information and that it feels good. And um, if it does, then we'll record it and you can see me do that. Um, but it's uh, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Um, so um, I guess that's it guys take care, check out all the stuff in the description, you know, give people shout, uh, you know, shout outs and, you know, how are you doing? Do, you know, you're doing a great job and just encouragement, you know? And, uh, the last thing I will tell you is there's a little kitty that needs our hopes and prayers. Um, the kitty's name is Twister from Arkansas. So, um, there, he's just having some some health issues. They can't quite pinpoint it, but the owner is, um, doesn't have, is kind of on a fixed income. And so, um, she's just asking if we can just give a lots and lots of light and love to little, little twister and, uh, any, um, people that want to do, you know, healing Reiki, whatever, you know, a, whatever thing you can do, that would be great. Um, just a little heads up on March 1st, I'm booking for the second part of the year, June to um, December. I'm going that far out just because I am. I just am. Um, and I'm also going to, um, uh, I might add something else as well. I'm thinking about it. I'm not quite sure, but I'm working on my, my class still for the, the next class in the series of classes. I'll let you know when it's up. And it's going to be cheap. I'm going to make it cheap because I don't want, I want you guys to be able to do this stuff and learn and, and, you know, that's it. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's, that's it, you guys. And if you book appointment, an appointment in July, just know that I'm going to be in the UK. And so it will be by Zoom. So just know that. And I'm also offering Zoom. So if anybody wants to, would rather do Zoom than the telephone, just let me know. Just send me an email and let me know and I'll send you a Zoom thing we can do it by zoom and you'll have it record i can record it for you too okay all right so take care everybody have a good one bye